Hi everyone, welcome to Business Core Tutoring. I'm Devin Coombs, and today I will cover question five in our series about statistics. So let's begin. A random sample of five mosquitoes is sampled. The number of mosquitoes carrying the West Nile virus in the sample is an example of which random variable. So I don't write these questions. Uh, I pull them from CSUN's Gateway Lab exam practice. So you can find that in the comments below. So the English might be a little strange sometimes. Don't blame me. I'm just pulling out of their examples for consistency. So A, normal. So I believe we're talking about distributions here. So normal distributions, T distributions, binomial distributions, uniform distributions, or none of the above. The question is asking about how many mosquitoes are carrying the West Nile virus. So we have to understand what each kind of distribution represents and understand their definitions in order to properly answer this question. So I'm going to quickly go into the definitions and then we'll talk about the theory of the question. So a normal distribution has a bell-shaped curve, is symmetrical uh, with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one Z. So this is generally the Z score. A T score, or the student's T they're using here, which I'm, I believe they're trying to get a T score, similar to a Z, generally has a smaller sample size of less than 30. Uh, less information is known about the T so we know less information about the statistic or population, um, but it generally is a similar shape and distribution to a Z, uh, but it is different. Binomial distribution is like black or white or yes or no, uh, A or B or heads or tails. There's only one of two answers. So it'd be like, are you sick today? Yes, I am sick. No, I am not sick. There's no middle ground. That's different from the normal and T distribution because uh, a normal and T distribution can be used to figure out height or how much water uh, came down in a rainfall or how much snow uh, how much how large the snowpack was last year in a certain area those are more quantitative not just yes or no so normal and t's are used for those wider range of variables while the binomial is yes or no heads or tails i always think of a coin toss when i think binomial by being two so that should be an easy one to understand uh, uniform uh, means there's an even distribution of chances of something happening. So there's an equal chance for everything. So if you have a six-sided die, uh, you roll it, there's an equal chance of getting every single number if it's fair die. So that's a good example of a uniform distribution. Again, compared to a normal or student's uh, T distribution, generally the mean at zero uh, is going to be your most common variable because you have that symmetrical normal distribution. Well, in uniform, any of these can happen. Like human beings, uh, human males in America are on average 510 to 511 or something like that. That would be from a normal distribution standpoint. Well, uniform would be the chance of getting one on a six-sided die is one-sixth. And then there's none of the above. So the question asked us about do the mosquitoes either have the virus or do they not have the virus so that should from understanding all of this we should understand that that's binomial because it's black or white there's just one of two answers so the answer is c binomial either the mosquito has the west nile virus or it does not have the west nile virus so i hope that helps if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments below or on my twitter and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and have a wonderful day